What's good? Welcome to Ari Roars. This is Ari speaking. Thank you for watching this video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and advice on how to build your dream personal style using both objective and subjective processes. You're going to find a unique functional style that makes you feel confident wherever you go. By the way, the title does say tips from a stylist. Full transparency, I'm no longer a stylist, but I was for years. So <laughs> it's still in my heart and I still really am passionate about it and I style myself. That counts, right? So anyway, without further ado, if that sounds like something you're interested in, then just keep on watching. Haters imitators and complainers, men they all the same. Hard to win the match when being players of a lawless game. Trying to shake the ground so they can't help except to call. So starting off on your personal style journey, you want to take an objective analysis. That means looking at yourself objectively, looking at yourself from an outside perspective and really focusing on your physical body, all the traits of it. We actually have some wonderful resources out there that can help us do so. There are stylists and theorists who have already come up with these structured um, categories and types that can help us to better understand the intricacies of our bodies. Now, before I start talking about those specifically, I do want to mention that this is a tricky process, which is why I would suggest taking some time to really figure out these details, months if you can. But looking at yourself objectively is really hard, especially when you're dealing with insecurities. The good thing about that is you will process some emotions through the process of figuring out your personal style. And in the end, you will come out with this major confidence in who you are and how you present yourself to the world. So starting off, you want to find out the color season of your skin tone. I went to this particular website, I'm going to link down below, where you can kind of take a picture of your face and compare different color seasons with your skin tone. And ultimately, you'll come up with the conclusion of what your color season is. And whatever brings out your skin color most and does not bring out your flaws, like brings out the flaws the least, that is gonna be your color season. You can also hire someone to do this. There are professionals, but it's free. There are also like Reddit pages that you can go on, which I'm, I'm a big proponent for Reddit because you get a lot of different opinions, access to a lot of different opinions at least. So after you've come to a bit of a conclusion for yourself, you can go on Reddit so that you can get some additional opinions to confirm what you already believe. Now, this is something that's super fascinating to me. It's David Kibbe's image identities. He has identified 10 different image identities. He had a book written back in the 80s that was 13 identities, but he narrowed it down. So I'm actually gonna link to the book as well. However, he has strayed away from a lot of the ideas that he's included in the book. So a lot of the newer information that you can find online is a little bit more accurate. I'll include a link to everything, honestly, everything I'm talking about in this portion of the video, there will be links in the description box. But essentially, David Kibbe says that we need to dress for our bodies, not to make them more balanced, like culture has convinced us we have to create this illusion of an hourglass. He's encouraging us to highlight what's already there and to really just own our natural beauty. And I think this is a wonderful thing. And it definitely transformed the way that I look at myself and the way I look at style and fashion. So ultimately, after you're doing your research and coming to a conclusion, you would be able to find what your Kibbe identity is. And it gives you tons of advice on how you can express yourself through that identity and that image identity with your clothing and how you dress. And he even talks about different things like hairstyles and skin, like color seasons as well. But you know, you can weigh your options on how you want to apply different theories because this is not the same color seasons as the one I just mentioned. And speaking of which, there is a man named John Kishner who created his own image identity system as well. Now, Kibbe's is focused more on the body, while Kitchener's is focused more on the face. I would say 80% face, 20% body. That's what they say for Kitchener. And this is interesting as well because now you can kind of bring those two together and find a balance between what your face looks like and like how your face is categorized in the world and how people receive your face when they see you as well as your body and bringing those together, it creates a very, very unique identity. But yeah, you really wanna deep dive with this information because with these types, it's really easy to like blaze through it one time and be like, oh yeah, that's definitely me. And just let it go and like hone in on this image identity. But it turns out that yours is actually a different one. 
So now that we've got all that objective stuff out of the way, we can focus on what most people would start with, which is the subjective personal preference, personal direction area. Now I put this one second because I think that this is what's gonna shape everything you've already learned objectively. This is what's gonna show you how to apply those aspects we just discussed in a way that works for you. You're gonna ask yourself, what is your personal priority? What do you find it most important that your outfit fulfills? Is it the functionality? Is it the comfort? Is it the creativity? Is it being fashion forward? What is it? And you can come up with the words for yourself, but I want you to come up with a few of them and put them in order of a ranking of maybe three to five priorities. And then next, ask yourself, what is your image priority? Meaning, what do you want people to see when they look at you? Is it sensuality? Is it edge? Is it power? Is it approachability? Is it playfulness? Is it mystery? Is it modesty? What do you want to present to the world? And same, three to five ranked in order. Now, I will mention that there are these two stylists who have these wonderful style theories that I think you should check out. They're on YouTube, so I'm going to link them down below. They're called Style Roots and Style Keys. Their theories focus on being subjective and kind of giving you some direction on how you can express yourself in these subjective ways. So if you want help with that, check them out. And lastly, the most simple, what is your lifestyle like? What is the environment you're in like? The climate, the weather, what do you have to wear in order to be like ready to go outside? <laughs> and then also, what do you have to be wearing in order to go to work, to go to school, to take care of the kids or whatever it is that you do outside of work or school. However you spend your days, what kind of attire do you need to wear? Even if it's active wear, this is something that needs to be in your wardrobe. So you should really consider all the components. Who knows, maybe you can find some active wear that works well for your regular wardrobe. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We're gonna move on to the finality when you mix it all together, Put the lime and the coconut. So we're gonna narrow it down, starting with the objective things and sifting it through everything subjective. So we're gonna pull out from your style everything that doesn't fit into your subjective approach. For example, if you love wearing black, but your color season says you're not supposed to wear black, you don't care, you wear black anyway, it's your thing. Or let's say your kibbe type says you're not supposed to wear suits, but you work in a corporate office and you kinda have to. Forget Kibby in that situation, just do what you gotta do. It's okay not to conform to all of the objective and subjective categories and rules and boundaries all at once. You can just pick and choose, but you have an option to honor every aspect of yourself, both objective and subjective. So once you've narrowed it down, okay, I like this about my Kibby type, but I don't like this, so I'm gonna leave that out. I like this thing, even though it's not in my Kitchener type description, I'm gonna add that in anyway and you just start to narrow these things down. So once you've got a general idea of what you like, what you wanna see, what you wanna wear, take it on to Pinterest. We always gotta go to Pinterest and just search keywords. You can search your Kibbe type names, you can search your Kitchener type names, you can search your color season, or you can search just other words, like for example, functional fits, daily fits, casual fits, sensual outfits for women, whatever you wanna put. Just try so many different keywords, so many different words and pull up your variety and create a board for your new personal style. Collect at least like a good 50 photos if you can and try to make them diverse. Don't have the same exact like outfit in different colors or whatever, unless the difference of colors is the whole point. And after you've gathered all these things, you want to look at all the photos, look at every single piece that they're wearing, even the accessories that you might have overlooked because they might have been part of the inspiration for you putting that on your board. So just really deeply analyze everything that you see, take note of any repetition, and just kind of create a list of all the things that you would want to have in your wardrobe. Even if you already have them, just create an exhaustive list of everything you think that you need in order to have and obtain the style that you dream for. And then lastly, you will take that list, look in your wardrobe and do some sorting out. This is nowhere on my list. It probably never will be, I'll get rid of it. This is a lot on my list, I probably need more of it. This is on my list, but not in my closet, so I'm gonna have to buy it. And then you can go ahead and go shopping. I mean, you don't have to splurge all at once, but definitely keep your eye out for the things that are going to 100% fulfill your personal style. And that's another point is that we have this impulse to be like, okay, I'm gonna fulfill my wardrobe right now and buy everything that I need right now. 
but it turns out everything you need is not in the stores you went to yet or you haven't searched enough to find the right items so we end up buying things that we don't actually love we buy things that we like because we think that that's what we need right now so definitely try to take the time to really look into the clothes that you're going to buy be cautious of like impulse purchases and slowly but surely build your wardrobe up don't settle and within a few months it's done it's not done it's never done but it's done so that's it that's all i got for you thank you for watching this video if you liked it then like it and i'll see you next time bye hey,